So in this video, I just want to go over the basics of what will happen if we have H E two, which is helium diatomic molecule. So we can use molecular orbital theory to describe or even predict what will happen if we take two helium atoms and basically bring them together to form H E two. Now we can do this by basically taking the system of we have a helium here, so there's helium, and we have helium two, we have helium here. So basically these ones will come together in the form H two. And so, you know, the two possibilities are they can deconstructively add them together or we can constructively add them together. We can represent this with sigma bonds. So this is the sigma star. This is the one S. And here we have the other 1s, sigma, but it's not a star. And star, star means deconstructively adding, deconstructively adding. It takes a very long time to write. So helium has two electrons. So we'll have one, and this will be opposing spin. And this other helium here will have one and two. So basically, using the off-valve principle of building up, we'll start at the bottom, and we'll take one of these electrons. This electron will go down here, so we'll have one here, and you know this one will come down here. So we'll take the other one. Of course, yeah. So this one will be that one. We'll go there. This one will go there. Weird colors. And so then we still have two. So there will be one there, one gone there. We still have two left. So can't put any more here, you know, we can only have two. So then we go and put the rest one up there. So this one comes up there. And this other one will get brought up there, so then we'll have opposite spins. So this means that we have a deconstructively um, added orbital, and we have a constructively added orbital. This is this is constructively added. It's constructively added and this is not this is deconstruct deconstruct so when we put it into the formula of bond order and bond order again is bond order is the number that are constructively added minus the number of orbitals that are deconstructively orbited added decon I always mess that up so and then we divide this whole thing by 2 and so we can see here that basically we have the one constructively added. So this is two electrons. This is merging two orbitals. So that's two minus the number of deconstructively or uh, added orbitals, which is again two here. So this is two. So and then we divide that whole thing by two, and we get zero divided by two. And the bond order will just be zero. And so this is pretty important because it predicts that this will not be very stable. Zero means it will not be a very good, you know, bond. And this is, you know, confirmed with Lewis structures. Like we don't usually see helium bonded with helium. It just doesn't work because these are, you know, helium has filled up its 1s2 shell. It doesn't need any electrons. It doesn't want anything. So if we try and add it to another 1s2, it just there's no bond really. And so that's why the bond order is zero. And you can kind of confirm this with Lewis structures. But what if, say, we had helium 2 plus? So this would be ionized helium. And uh, with the plus, we means that you know it's more positive. We must have removed an electron. Removed an electron. So if we have this, I mean, how many electrons does helium-2 have in nature normally? Just not even ionized. We'd have 2 plus 2 equals 4. So when we have an ionized form, we'd have 2 plus 1. One of them would only have one electron, so we'd have 3. So in this case, we would take helium and say ionized helium. This is helium plus. And we're trying to make helium-2 plus. So we merging these together. This one will come here, this one will come here. And so when we plug this into the formula, we have helium, helium, and with the two possibilities, deconstructively adding or constructively adding. And so this will be the sigma star, and this will just be the sigma.
And so helium has two electrons in the you know 1s2 shell. And this one, since it's ionized, will only have uh, one electron. So if we take the green electrons here, bring this down, we'll have one here. And we'll bring the, I don't know what color that is, bring it down, and we'll have two there. And so this cancels out this one, this cancels out this one. And this last one will have to come up here and do that way. So basically we have two that are constructively added, constructive, and one that is deconstructive. And so when we plug this into bond order, remember bond order, again, is the number of constructively added orbitals minus the number of deconstructively or added orbitals. Divide that whole thing by two. And so when we plug this in, we just get two, which are the constructively added ones, minus we only have one this time. Now remember before, we had two. But since we're missing one, then we're only minusing one. And you divide that by two. So here we have two minus one is one, so which is one half. The bond order of helium two plus H two plus is just going to be one half. And that's it.